This is an Army Today. Walter Reed Army Medical Center's newest addition opened its doors. This is a one of a kind, a track with an oval suspension harness, the solo step. Gotta get used to these turns. This is the second most advanced motion simulator in the world, an interactive virtual environment. 23 cameras in this gate lab analyze movement for prosthetic fit and alignment. We've got equipment that, that, that isn't replicated in any, any other setting, private or commercial. Just like you did. The Corps of Engineers built this state-of-the-art facility under budget and ahead of schedule to give wounded warriors the best care possible. A subject that touches home for the Corps' chief. We received that phone call, that phone call you never want to get. 21-year-old Robbie, the chief's youngest son, was injured. We came here to Walter Reed, and so he was in Walter Reed uh, probably about nine months altogether, which we found it to be a, a wonderful, wonderful recovery time for him. Recovery at the Advanced Training Center means 31,000 square feet and treatment teams representing 15 disciplines under one roof, helping to get people like Joshua back on their feet. When we got hit by an IED, it went off directly underneath me and took my legs off. I shattered my hip, so I have 34 pins in my hip, but I broke my pelvis. I have a six-inch screw across there, and I broke my jaw and nose, so when I woke up, my jaw was wired shut. You know, things have changed, definitely, and things will. You know, I, I won't be able to do everything I did before, but, uh, you know, I will, you know, do new things and have new, you know, many opportunities open up in windows, so, you know, it's, out of, you know, a tragedy, you know, blessings to appear, so. Good. Injured just 10 months ago, Joshua is one of more than 650 amputees treated at Army hospitals since the beginning of operations Enduring and Iraqi Freedom. Mary Cochran, Washington.